Hey, I'm Will with Touratech USA, and this is the Ducati Desert X. At Touratech USA, we love this bike. The engine is powerful and punchy, but it's light and nimble enough for serious off-road use. One of the deficiencies of this bike is the suspension. It's not great for hard, hard use, like single track or even some two-track trails, so we made the Touratech Extreme Shock. This has got full high-speed, low-speed, and rebound damping control. The install on this is pretty simple, but I'm going to walk you through it. Let's get to it. For this install, you'll need a 4mm bit socket, a 5mm bit socket, a 6mm bit socket, an 8mm bit socket, a 15mm socket, corresponding ratchets, extensions, a torque wrench, a hammer, and a bike lift. First things first, we have to expose the upper and the lower mounting portion of the shock. We gotta take the seat off, we gotta take two side panels off, one on the left hand side, one on the right hand side. We have to take this mud guard off down here, and we have to take off this lower trim piece that's guarding the lower mounting point of the shock. Let's grab our tools and get started. Step one, take the seat off. The seat latch release is located underneath the seat on the left hand side over here. So get your ignition key, find the hole, and pop that seat off, just like that. Now I'm gonna take these two side trim panels off. These have to come off because they are blocking the upper shock mount bolt. I'm gonna use a four millimeter Allen to take off fasteners on either side. These panels are also held on by a zip tie on each side to the frame. I'm not gonna cut them. You don't need to cut them to take it off. I'm just gonna move the panel out of the way. Just like that, there's the upper shock bolt. Now I'm gonna do it on the other side. Now I'm gonna take out these four, four millimeter fasteners. I'm gonna use a four millimeter Allen wrench to do it to remove this mud guard and this lower trim piece. Be careful not to drop the bushings behind. There are bolts in front, but there are bushings between the frame of the bike and this mud guard. They're gonna drop out whenever I take this panel off. There goes one. And there goes the second one. Mud guard's off. Now I'm gonna do the same thing with this lower trim piece so we can access the lower shock mount bolt. There you go. For this next portion of the install, we needed to lift the bike off the ground. We just used a standard motorcycle hydraulic lift. We've got to do this because the rear wheel cannot be in contact with the ground. Whenever I ended up taking the bolts out, it's a lot easier to, to line up the mounting points for the new shock if you can manipulate that swing arm. Let's get those bolts out. This is an eight millimeter bolt that's attaching the shock to the swing arm here. I'm gonna get at it from the right hand side. I'm gonna use an eight millimeter bit socket to take this out. This thing takes a while to thread out, so just take your time, no rush. All right, the threads are totally free on this eight millimeter bolt. I'm gonna loosen the upper shock bolt and then I'm gonna use a hammer to knock both of these out. You're gonna to need to come at this from both sides of the bike, both the left and the right hand side. On the left hand side over here, it's a six millimeter Allen bolt. And on this side, it's a 15 millimeter nut. This nut is not captive. So you're gonna to have to hold it from both sides while you crank the other. All right, the nut's free in there. Now I'm gonna use a hammer to knock this bolt out. Goes. Now I'm gonna take out the lower shock mount bolt. We already loosened this earlier, but I have to reduce the tension from the shock on the rear wheel. So I'm gonna to have to lift up the rear swing arm to reduce that tension. So give it a little lift and the bolt should just come right out. Now the shock is totally free. So just go ahead, pick up the lower mount and just guide it out. Okay. 
Now we're going to install the Touratec Extreme Shock. The billet aluminum construction of it looks great against the silhouette of this bike. It goes in just like the OEM came out. Just like that, slots into place. Now I'm going to replace the upper shock mount bolt. I'm just going to feed it in there, tap it in. Now I've got to go get my 15 millimeter socket to tighten the other side. Now I'm going to lift up the rear wheel to line up the lower mount for the shock and I'm going to feed this fastener back in with my 8 millimeter bit socket. Both the lower and the upper shock bolts need to be torqued to OEM specifications, which is 70 Newton meters. So I'm gonna go grab a torque wrench. Now I'm gonna use this eight millimeter bit socket on this torque wrench set to 70 Newton meters to tighten up this lower shock bolt. I'm gonna do the same thing on the upper right after this. That click means we're good. We're at 70 Newton meters. Let's do the upper one. Now I'm gonna to torque the upper shock bolt to 70 Newton meters, the same as the lower. There's the click, we're all good. Thanks a lot, Kimo, appreciate the help. Now that the shock's all installed, before we install these trim pieces back, I'm going to attach the hydraulic preload adjuster. It attaches to the frame by this little bracket and these five millimeter Allen bolts. Now I'm going to attach the preload adjuster itself to the bracket using these four millimeter Allen bolts. Now that the uh, remote preload adjuster is installed on this bracket right here, the lower shock bolt, the upper shock bolt, everything's installed, it's all good to go. We just need to install our trim pieces back. So the mud guard, the lower fork guard, and then these side trim panels. Let's go ahead and install them. With all the trim panels back installed and the seat installed, the Touratec Extreme Shock install is officially done. This Ducati Desert X is officially made for adventure. Let's go off our ride.